This is a light. This is a light. These are some lights. These are some more lights. But do we really need all of these lights? Would you consider this maybe a little bit too much? Let me answer that. No, we don't need all of these lights. And yes, it is too much. It's at least enough to cause some problems. Because it is causing problems. A lot of them. We're constantly polluting our planet every day with not only trash, but light too. Light pollution is the abundance of artificial lighting caused by light traveling away from its intended source. This causes things like sky glow, which is lighting up the sky all over cities, glare, which is caused by an abundance of light hitting a certain area, and light trespass, which is light shining on other objects in its intended source. This causes many problems. Sky glow causes the stars to not be seen at night because of the amount of light shining into the sky. Also, as if sea turtles don't get crapped on enough by humans and our straws, we're here to hit them with yet another problem, and that's light. When a sea turtle first hatches, its instinct is to run towards the light of the ocean water shimmering at night. Well, when us humans put nice big cities and attractions right on the beach, sea turtles get a little confused and run towards the cities instead of the water. And no, they do not turn into ninja turtles. Light pollution also messes up the nighttime cycles for a lot of living things. It causes plants, which are usually exposed to the sun for a certain amount of time every day, to not grow because they're being hit with light during the night, which they're not used to. It can also cause sleep insomnia in humans who are being exposed to light during the nighttime. Ever realize why you're not able to sleep at night? Maybe put down the phone. One of the biggest problems is the amount of fossil fuel that is going towards lights that aren't being used. Think about how often you leave a light on around the house. Or think about that street light down the road that's lighting the road up for nobody. How can we battle this? Number one, we could use motion sensor lights more often so that lights are being used for people and not empty streets. These can be used in rooms around the house and even lights in public so that lights turn on when you're actually driving down the street. Number two is making sure that the lights are only shining where they need to shine. If it's a street light, then why is it also shining on the surrounding areas and into my bedroom window at night? This could also mean putting covers on the tops of lights so that there's not light shining into the sky at night and we can actually see that beautiful night sky full of stars. Think about it. 